gonna go to the end of this video and go one frame to the left here so I can save this as a still image. I wanna make sure that I have the export set to JPEG image. And then you're gonna hit next and then just save it to your desktop. Once you have your image saved from whatever editing application you used, we're gonna go over to the left side and go to imagine. Once you're in the imagine tab, we're gonna go to the bottom here where it says type to imagine. And you have a couple of options. You could actually upload and attach your own file, which is what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna click on upload a file. And when you hit upload, it's going to turn this into a video. You just wanna make sure that you have this over here. I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna type in the man enters the car casually. And then I'll, I think I'm gonna just leave it like that, to be honest, the man enters the car casually. Now, obviously this depends what scene you're gonna be using, but I want him to get into the car and drive away. And I'm going to go to where it says video presets, just leave this at default, and then go ahead and click on the play button to create the video. All right, here is the new video. As you can see, he gets out of uh, from leaning into the car, he gets in. Now, once you're happy with the result, this is the first step, we're gonna go to upscale video. So this will upscale the video for us and turn it into an HD video that we could use a little bit better. So you can see it gets into the car and then he closes it. And then from the last frame, we're gonna make this into another video. So once we've upscaled the video, we're gonna click on download. So click on download. And then we're gonna go back into Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna go ahead and import that video that we saved from Grok. So here is the video, and I'm gonna click and drag this onto our next clip here. So following the original clip, it's gonna go onto this one, as you can see. Now it adds audio, so I'm gonna just disable that for now. We don't need that. But you can see it goes like that. Now you're gonna notice it's not cropped correctly, so we can easily fix that. Just go over to the Transform button over here and go to Crop. And then I'm going to crop this over here so that it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio. You may need to skip this if your video is not you know, in that aspect ratio. And then it also does stretch it out horizontally. So we're gonna go back to transform and we're just gonna get one of these sides, click and drag them to make sure they are scaled um, accordingly like that. Click on done and it should look like this if you kind of hover in between them. Now it does lose a little bit of detail in the video, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna push play and he's going into the car. And then at that last frame right here, I'm going to save that frame. Just go one frame here to the left and then save this frame onto your desktop. And then once you have that saved, we're gonna go back into Grok. So now that we're back onto Grok, we're gonna go over here. You can see it says favorites, but I'm gonna click on the attach button here and upload a file. This is the one that I saved, upload that one. And then from here, you can then make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna type in the camera pans to the back of the car, whoops, as it drives away. And I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna reprocess this. So just wait until it finishes. So here's the finished result. And you can see it looks really, really good. Now you can see it kind of just goes into like a wall. Now you could easily change that by, you know, editing the prompt. So we can do onto a street. Now I'm going to redo this and we're going to see what it creates now. All right, just finished. Let's see the new result. And that looks pretty sick. It does turn the other way for some reason, which maybe you can change that in the prompt. That's totally up to you. For the sake of the video, we're just gonna save this one. So we're gonna go over to the three dots here. I'm gonna upscale the video. So here's the upscaled version and you can see it looks way, way better. Looks 10 times more realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna add this back into Final Cut Pro. So here is our original clip as you can see from Grok. I'm gonna import that one into Final Cut Pro or whatever editing application you're using. And I'm gonna just drag this onto the following clip of this one here, the, the other Grok video that we generated. We can leave it like this now because we already cropped it, so we don't need to do anything else besides changing the scale left and right. As you can see, it kind of stretches out the video a little bit. I'm not sure why it does that, but let's go to transform and scale this back down like that and click on done. And then maybe I want him to kind of speed up right here. So I'm gonna press shift B and right here, shift B go to this kind of black line and drag it to the left to increase the speed to, you know, to make it faster or drag it out to the right to slow it down. I'm gonna drag it all the way, you know, as close as you can to however you want this to look like. I think it like that. And then right here, right, shift B. I'm gonna leave this clip kind of how it is, I guess. And then maybe, maybe right here, shift B and shift B again. And then now we can kind of scale this one in so it goes in faster. 
And then right here, I'm going to speed this one up too. So from this point to this point, I'm going to press Shift B so that this entire portion of this clip will speed up. All right, so it's like this. And then it zooms up. And we can do something like that. Just makes it look a little bit more smooth. And maybe you can slow it down like this. And I'm going to press Shift B one more time. And I must just speed this up a little bit as well. Boom, there we go. So now if we go back and we push play, we have our finished result. As you can see, it's not 100% like perfect, but you could you know, tweak this to get it exactly how you want. So the prompting is gonna be the most important part to getting this to look right. You can really create really, really insane videos with this by using the end of the frame that you generated in Grok and taking that frame and then adding you know, adding to it. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more AI videos, hit the like button. And if you're new, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you can get updates as soon as I upload. So with that being said, I will catch you on my next video.